When you have a solid coil and you are interested in doing an AC magnetic study, you have to follow certain steps while modeling your problem. Let us look at some of those. Here I have an induction heating problem where I have a bar that needs to be heated by this coil. So the first thing that you have to keep in mind while modeling this problem is how you would model the air geometry. Okay, so if you just look at here, we need to ensure that the air geometry terminates at the entry and exit port of the coil. So if you don't have a coil, you have to extend the coil so that it extends all the way to the outer extremity of the air geometry. So that's really um, one thing that you have to keep in mind. And this applies only when you have a solid coil and not a wound coil, a solid coil which has a separate inlet and a separate outlet for your current. So once you create your air geometry, again make sure that you use the cavity option to subtract out all the inner parts and these are some regular steps that you will take irrespective of the kind of problem that you do. Okay. Then it's not sufficient, Why, after you define the study, AC magnetic study, you have to define tangential flux boundary condition on the faces that coincides with the inlet and the outlet of the coil. Let us see how we do that. To define the tangential flux boundary condition, you can right click on the load restraint and select tangential flux. And here you have to select all the faces where you want to apply this tangential flux boundary condition. I'm going to start with the face of the air. Important, it's not just sufficient to select the faces terminating in the coil, but also the face of the air that terminates with the coil. So you select this one, then you go select the face of the coil and also the inlet as well as the outlet faces of the coil and here. Okay, so and then you say okay and you apply a tangential flux boundary condition. Now you need to do these two to ensure that you get accurate results when you have AC magnetic study with a solid coil as you see in this particular problem. Thank you.